They thought I was defeated. They thought it'd be over for me. They all thought my reign of terror was over. Well, you all thought wrong. Breaking news, Mr. Keebler, an old criminal, has escaped from the county jail. No, this can't be real. It is very much reality. And trust me, when I find you, your days are numbered. Mr. Keebler had escaped from the county jail earlier today. Freedom, here I come. Hello everybody, welcome to the Bjorn Cinema, your movie will begin shortly. Hey, make shut sure up, turn off the movie is about the to start. Premiere. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Most importantly, make sure to support the original creator for the making of this movie by subscribing to their YouTube channel. And now, enjoy the movie. We 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 Hey. You hear that, phony? The ghost is clear. Still no sign of the townspeople. Look at him. We got chased out of Bonneville over two weeks ago, and he's still moping around. Oh, well. I guess you can whine all you want, when you're thrikest guy in TH whole town. Yeah. Oops. Silly me, ex richest. They can't do this to me. You can't do anything to the rich person that he doesn't want. Don't get him started. Gasp. Oh. TH apostrophe horrible injustice of it all. I'm still reading with shock. I'm a respected community leader. A shining pillar of moral strength.
so a couple of shady business deals went sour. Is that any reason to run th apostrophe most beloved bone in Bedville out on a rail? Yes, beloved. Th mayor declared a school holiday just so th kids could come and throw rocks at you. Ingrid's. Oh, they'll root th apostrophe day. They chased possible people who do their crummy ale town. Now, now, little buckaroo. Don't be sad. It's a beautiful day. There's not a cloud in th sky. Good point, Smiley. If we don't find some shade soon, I'm gonna have a stroke. Hey, I'm just trying to cheer him up, okay? Try thinking about something besides your money. Take me for example. I never had a penny in my life. But I'm not sad. I got no responsibilities. I'm free. Free as a bird. A bird. Ha. Huh. More like a mangy, stray dog who doesn't eat very often. Well. True. But you get my point. Hey! Phone bone. What? Have you figured out where we are, yet? What's taking so long? I'm working on it. Hmm. That's strange. That mountain range isn't on any of our charts. Let hey. me see that. Here's your problem, phone bone. We're off the map. Get a bigger map. That's as big as maps get. We're in uncharted territory. Well, get us back. I can't. We're lost. To Baldy go where no bone has gone before. Stick, stick a stuck stick in it, cabbage, cabbage head. head. Cabbage. Don't, Don't get me wrong, phone bone. I'm grateful you were able to get me to town. But tell me, why did you have to go and bring him with us? To torture you. I knew that. Hey, phony. Bad news. We're out of water. That's the last straw. Don't get mad at Smiley Bone. This mess isn't his fault. That's right. TH townspeople aren't mad at us. They ran you out of town cause you're a selfish, little green bag. I can't believe it. Not only am I broke, now I'm gonna die broke. Gasp. Kef. Kef. Oh, you're not gonna die. I just hope you learned your lesson. Hey, cousin, look what I found. I think it's a map. Water. I need water. I can feel my tongue cracking. Sure enough. Look. It's a map of that mountain range. I'm saved. Give it to me. Give me a dollar first. What? Go on, phony. Give him a dollar. What? We're lost in the middle of TH Desert. Give him a dollar. All right, all right. Hey! What is this? This looks like it was drawn by a five-year-old. This thing is worthless. Let me go. I'm gonna kill him. Cousins. Heads up. We got company. Oh my gosh. It's the townspeople. Quick. Hide me. Wait a minute. You hear that, Smiley? What's that noise? Is it TH apostrophe townspeople? Nope. No people. Just locusts. Pretty neat, huh? Ah. Phony. Are you okay? Whatever you do, don't stick out your tongue. Pit. Poo. Yuck. What? PTT. PTT. Poo. Yee. I can't believe I wasn't just killed. Phony. Smiley. Go back. Don't come this way. It's a cliff. Maybe they're already down here. Phony bone. Smiley. Hey. Hey, guys. I'm down in this gully. Can you hear me? Phony. Say. There's the map. Huh. I wonder if this really is a map of that mountain range. Maybe I better hang on to it. I might need it to save phony bone. Again. HMMF. I'm always getting him out of trouble. Well, cousin or not. When we get back to Boneville, Phony's gonna have to face the music by himself, I've had it. From now on, he can outrun angry mobs, and fall off cliffs without my help. What kind of a patsy does he take me for Irv? It's always Phone Bone, you gotta save me. Or Phone Bone, you gotta help me. Why, I oughta hey. How'd I get so close to the mountains, where is everybody? Where's the locusts? No way. I climbed up the wrong side. Phony. Help. You gotta save me. Oh, my gosh. They're nowhere in sight. Phony. Hey!
A cigar butt. Jeez. I hope Smiley doesn't run out of cigars before I catch up to him. Ha ha ha. Huff. Where th heck are those guys? We're going straight into th mountains. I hope I catch up to them before it gets dark. The last thing I want to do is spend the night out here by myself. Of course, after a day like today, it's hard to imagine that anything worse could happen. <gasps> Light the torch. Is it him? Is it the un we seek? I cannot tell. Look for the star on his chest. No star. This isn't the one. No. It is not he. Very well. Kill it. It will be our supper. Who's gonna be your super? Go away. Do not meddle in affairs that are too big for you, boy. Who are you coming, boy? Ali. The Great Red Dragon. Oh, okay. I must have fallen asleep. Where am I? You awake? Huh? Who's there? You got a light? Smiley? Is that you? Oh, boy, am I glad to see you. Hold on, I've got a match in my bag, here. Shh. Ah. Thanks for the light. Don't mean you, Ned. Shh. Hello? Hello? Oh, man. I gotta quit going to sleep on an empty stomach. Oh, man. This ain't gonna cut it. I actually thought this map would take me through TH Mountains to this waterfall on here. But if this thing were real, I would have come to TH Pass by now. Err. I'm so not smart. I bet this map was just one of Smiley's pranks, Dash and I fell for it. And to top it off, I haven't seen any more cigar butts all day. How do I get myself into these things? Oh, well. I'll find those guys sooner or later if I don't die of thirst. Until then, I just gotta keep moving. Keep. Cool. I made it. That not smart map was right. Yes sirree, Bob. There's water on TH menu tonight. I could kiss Smiley Bone for finding that map. I might even kiss Phony right before I strangle him. And look. One of Smiley's cigar stubs. Hey, watch it. You almost stepped on me. Whoops. Hello. What are you supposed to be? I'm Ted. I'm a bug. You looked like a leaf. A leaf? That's an assault. Where's my big brother? Hey, hold on. I didn't mean any harm. Besides, what could your big brother do to me? Whoa. Is you picking up Ted? I just said he looks like a leaf. What are you? A troublemaker? We don't need your kind now, Fowley. I guess he didn't mean no harm. Big brother, you don't have to hit him if you don't want. Well, okay, Ted, if you say so. Listen to him. Listen to him. I'm not trying to cause trouble. I'm looking for my cousins. We got separated, and now I'm lost. You wouldn't know how to get to Boneville from here, would you? Bonville? Never heard of it. But you better find it. Fast. It's autumn now, and winter strikes quick in these parts. And when it does, nobody can get through those mountains, in or out. So I just suggest you make your visit here a short one, or you'll be stuck for the winter. 
and I don't think you want to do that. No, definitely not. Good. I'll let ya go for now, since Ted seems to like ya, okay? But don't forget, no darling. Thank you for not hitting me. Ho ho ho! Four knows just about everything in the whole world. Phone bone. So who's this thorn? He's not another big bug, is he? Don't worry. I'm just gonna find my cousins and then I'm out of here. But listen, Bone, Big Brother was right about winter. She hits fast. And if you want time to give home, you gotta do it before she snows. Where can I get something to drink? I'm dying of thirst. We can stop by the Bell Haven. They brews the best stuff around. Eh? Comrade, we are about to feast. Quick! Get your fat carcass behind this bush and get ready. Hey, small mammal. Could you step in here for a moment? I've got something to show you. Can't you show me out here where I've got run-in space? No. No. Please. Step in here your friend the dragon isn't around, is he? Quick, comrade. Start the cooking fire. No. You called me fat. Hey, Dad. Where are you going? You're on your own, Bone. Dad. Wait for me. Well, well. Look who's joined us for supper. Go start the cooking fire. No. You called me fat. No? What do you mean, no? And it's not the first time you've done it, either. Comrade, be reasonable. I wasn't thinking I was trying to catch our dinner this isn't the time. I take it back. You're not fat. Too late. Please, comrade. I just want to chop him up for the stew. And that's another thing. I'm tired of stew. I want to put him in a crust and bake a light fluffy quiche. Quiche? What kind of food is that for a monster to eat? Listen, do you think you could come back in half an hour? We'll have this straightened out by then. Why didn't you stop me? Why should I? You're so smart. Dad, come on, Dad. Where are you? You gotta take me to see Thorn. I'm sorry I called you a leave. Whoop. Water. I hear water. 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 Mmm, water. Water. Mmm, water. Water. Mmm, oh, man. What am I gonna do? What if I can't find my cousins before it snows? We could be trapped here for th whole winter. I gotta get out of here. This forest is too weird for me. Case in point. Perfect. Now all I need is one more good size X stick, and I'll have enough. Oh, Bone! Mr. Bone! Hello, Miss Possum. I haven't seen you in a couple months. Oh, I don't get out of the house much in winter, especially with young kids. These can't be your kids. They're all grown up. Well, it's on the spring. They should have friends this time of year. You boys remember Fun Bone? How you guys doing? Your mom made it for me. Pretty darky. Mom brought you some more blankets and stuff. Wow. Thanks. I don't know how I would have made it through TH Winter without you, Ms. Possum. Don't you worry about it. As long as you're stuck here in our valley, I'll take care of you. Here, I cut a pie in case you're hungry. Did you ever find those cousins of yours? No, not yet. Have you seen Dad since I talked to you last? Now, doesn't know much about what bugs do in the winter, but I haven't seen them more attendee or since since the snow hits. Say, wasn't there someone else you wanted me to find out about? Ted was gonna take me to see someone named Thorn. 
Oh, that's right. No, I haven't found out a thing. Make sure you have enough blankets. As a matter of fact, I'm on my way over to Miss Hedgehog's place, and I was wondering if you mind watching the kids. Yes, ma'am. Sigh. Well, thanks anyway, Miss Possum. If there's ever anything I can do. All right, you can stay with Fawn Bear. Me? But I don't know anything about baby possums. I'll just be for an hour or two. You boys be good now. Don't worry about us, Mom. Well, come on, guys. You can help me put the finishing touch on my house. Run inside where it's warm. I'll just be a second. Whoop! Yippee! There we go. Cozy as an igloo. By the time this melts, it'll be spring. And then I'm out of here. Hey, guys. Take it easy in TH. What TH heck was that? Holy cow. What are you trying to do? Kill each other? Come on let's sit by the fireplace, and I'll tell you a story. Aww, we were having fun! We don't want to hear a story! We want to play! You can't play with us, we don't know nothing about baby costumes, you said so! Play with us, Mr. Bell! Yeah, come on! What do you want to play? What possums play best is playing dead. Look out! It's a giant possum eating bear. Hmm. I kinda like this game. Hey, hey! Look at them. They look like little angels. I guess babysitting won't be so touch after all. Here comes the bear. You better watch out. You better watch out. I'm gonna eat you up. R R R R R R R R. The bear is chasing us. Hey, stay in TH house. Come back here. Catch us if you can. I'm serious. Quit fooling around, boys. All right. They want me to catch them. I'll catch them. Aha. Hiding in TH bushes, are you? Well, Mr. Dot Bear is getting hungry. R R R R R R. Now I'm going to. Whoops. Hi, fellas. Long time no see. You don't say? Well, nice talking with ya. Thanks for watching TH Kids. Gotta go. Quick. You kids run home. I'll slow them down. Oh, mama. And we have creatures on after us. Ow. Ow. Ooh. My ankle. <laughs> Man, what th heck did you eat for lunch? That little dead thing we found under a bush. You had some, didn't you? Yes, it was quite good. Hey, where'd he go? Those rat creatures would have to be pretty not smart to follow me onto this frail, little branch. Not smart, not smart rat creatures. Gasp. Ow, yikes. This time I really did hurt my ankle. What a shame. What do you say, comrade? Shall we have a nice, hot stew or should we him raw? M, M, M. I say we bake him in a quiche. You know how Michigan I like her. Seems to me your boys have a short memory. S, 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 S. The dragon. We weren't going to eat him. Dragon, we were only playing with him. Beat it. Hey, what are you doing? 
Don't let him get away. You're letting him get away. Do you know what they tried to do? Ow. Ow. Who watch? Ow. They tried to eat th little kids I was babysitting. What's th matter? Can't you breathe fire? Um. That's right. Kid, never pray an ice if you eat two will do. Um, well, it was nice meeting you, but I better go find th kids. Whoa. Don't worry about the kids, they're safe. Go straight down the hill. It's a shortcut to Ms. Possum's house. Uh, sure. Thanks. Hey, how do you know I was looking for Ms. Possum's kids? Bone! Bone! There you are. We came as fast as we could. Are you alright? Yay! He's safe. I'm okay. I had a little run in with a dragon. But the important thing is that we're all safe. A dragon? Really? Get out of town. See how he is with the kids? He's always got a story. It's not enough that he chased off those bullies. Now he's turning into a yarn with a dragon in it. Isn't that precious? What was that? Oh, I'm sorry, Bum. T. Go ahead and tell the bullies on the precious fire we been dragging. Yeah, tell us where you stand. Of course I was. He's so modest and brave. What happened, Fomo? Did you kill the dragon? What happened to your hat? Did the dragon do it? He's going out to angles. Everybody knows dragon are make believe. Iron Day? Iron Day? That's enough questions for now. Uncle Bum must be very tired. Let's all go home where it's warm and safe. And there Bum can tell us all about his adventure. Maybe he like to stop and clean up first. Oh yes, by all means, there's a nice hot spring just back over the hill. Why don't you stop here to freshen up? Come on along, boys. Say thank you to Uncle Bum. Thank you. Did you really see a dragon? Now, dear. HMMF. Did you see a dragon? What do they think? I lit my head on fire to keep warm? And how come that dragon knew I was babysitting TH Possum Kids? What's he doing? Following me around? This place is too weird. The first sign of spring I see, pow. I'm taken off right through those mountains. With or without my cousins. Uh, oh. What was that? Ow. Ow. What happened? Don't be afraid. I won't hurt you. Come on down. We'll share the pool. Hello. Um, are you new around here? Phone Bone. What's yours? Pleased to meet you, Phone Bone. My name is Thorn. Thorn, that's beautiful Thor. Thorn? You're Thorn? Do you know a little bug named Ted? Why? Yes. I know Ted. He's a very good friend of mine. Hacha. This is great. I've been looking for you all winter. You have? Why? Ted. He told me to find you. He said that you know everything. Well, that certainly sounds like Ted. Great. Then you can help me and my cousins get back to Boneville? Cousins? You mean there's more of you? Yeah. They're stuck in this valley too. But I haven't seen either one of them since we got hit by that swarm of locusts. You don't say. You know. I should have asked that dragon if he'd seen my cousins. You should have asked who? The dragon. Oh. Wait a minute. I get it. You don't believe in dragons, do you? No. Should I? Never mind. I don't care. Once I'm back in Boneville, I'll never ever have to think about dragons or this crazy valley again. Well, I'd like to help. Well, come on. There's no time to lose. But. I've never heard of Boneville. There is a little village down the road called Barrel Haven. Does that help? What's wrong? Nothing. Phone bone? Oh. I don't belong in this forest. My home's on the other side of the mountains. 
I'm sure we can get you through the mountains as soon as the snow melts. It's not just that. Even if I could get through the mountains, I'd never find my way back across the desert. You were my last hope. Well, let's just concentrate on finding your cousins. You're sure they're here in the valley? Pretty sure, unless the rat creatures got them. Did you say rat creatures? Let me guess. You don't believe in rat creatures. Oh, yes I do. Have you seen one recently? I saw two of them. PH Dragon chased him off. Now listen to me. This is important. You're not fooling around? You really saw two rat creatures? Yeah. I really saw a dragon, too. Look at my head. What do you think this is? A tan? Wash that soot off your face. I think we better get out of here. Okay with me. Where are we going? I live with my grandmother just through the woods. We'll go there. What about your bucket? Want me to fill it? Okay, but hurry. What's TH Big Rush all of a sudden? They're not that scary. In fact, they're kinda not smart. My. Aren't you brave? I feel safer already. Come on. Give me your hand. Well, I don't want to brag but I. Well, don't just stand there. Let's go. Oh, listen. The first birds of spring. We'll have you and your cousins back in Boneville before you know it. Boneville? What's Boneville? Wake up, sleepyhead. Huh? What? Where am I? You're in Grandma Ben's house. Come on. Get up. I fixed you some cakes for breakfast. Cakes? My, you must have enjoyed your first night in the woods. You didn't even hear me when I came downstairs. Cakes? Here's your cakes. And here's some tea. Thank you. Hello? Are you awake yet, Phone Bone? It's me, Thorn. Thorn? Ah, you're awake. Good. Now eat your breakfast. We've got a lot to do today. Grandma Ben is coming home from the village, and I want to clean the place up before she gets here. She's coming home today? That's right. She goes into Barrow Haven every spring to show off her best racing cows. Your grandma races cows? Yeah. She's pretty good, too. There's hardly a cow in the whole valley that can beat her in a 100-yard dash. Huh. I'm definitely looking forward to meeting this lady. Oh, it's a big event here in the spring. People bet chickens and goats some folks bet their whole livestock on her. If you want to make a good impression, be sure to compliment her on her cows. She's real proud of her cows. I'll try to remember that. Now, if you're done eating, why don't we get some water? Okay by me. Let's do it. If you finish up the dishes, I'll go split some firewood. Exclamation mark now wait a minute, Thorn. What? Where I come from, what you just said is backwards. Chopping firewood is a manly thing. And since I'm the man, I'll do the manly things. What manly kind of thing do you call that? Chin-ups. Go do th dishes. How about if we get the firewood later? Sigh. So. Do you think your grandma will mind me staying with you guys? I mean I don't want to cause any problems. She won't mind. She wouldn't make you go back out in the woods, especially with those rat creatures around. I hope not. Just do me one favor. When Grandma Ben gets here, try not to mention your friend the dragon. Why not? Because dragons don't exist, that's why. What do you mean? You believe in rat creatures. Why don't you believe in dragons? Because everybody believes in rat creatures. But you're the only one who's ever seen the dragon. I don't believe it. Do you have dragons back in Boneville? Of course not. Well? Well, we don't have big-mouthed, drooling, rat-like monsters, either. Unless you count my cousin Phony Bone. Phone Bone. We've been over this a hundred times. And you know what else? I think that dragon is following me around. But I'm telling you, I saw one. He had a goatee, and a cigarette, and big ol' hairy ears like this. Dragons are make-believe. You were seeing things. Thanks for the support, Thorn. You know, that's what the dragon wants you to think. He doesn't want you to know he exists. Actually, I just want her to think you're nuts. Oh, quiet. Hey, come back here with my bucket, you. Phone bone? What are you doing? I'm coming. 
I'm coming. Here. What do you want me to do with this? Oh. That's my knapsack. I ran back to my place last night to get my books. You have books in here? Yeah. When me and my cousins got run out of Boneville, I packed some stuff for us to read. I love books. Ooh. What are these? Just some comic books. I brought those for Smiley Bone. I've never seen one before. You haven't? You must have had a deprived childhood. These I brought for Phony Bone. They're financial magazines. Didn't you bring anything for yourself? Sure. This is Moby Dick. It's my favorite book. I've read it three times. What's it about? Uh, are you sure you want to know? Every time I try to tell people about Moby Dick their eyes glaze over. Try me. Okay. It's about a whaling voyage, and this guy is Shamil. Ha, ha, very funny. What else have you got in here? Let's see. A blanket. An old map that Smiley found. That's about it. The one thing I didn't bring enough it was food and water. Well, th two things. Why are you making that face? I don't know. Something about this map is familiar. Really? Smiley found it out in TH Desert right before we got split up. It reminds me of a dream I used to have. Whoa. And you think my stories are strange? I'm fine. Let's just forget it. Come on, Grandma will be here soon. Ooh. I'd like get my hands on that cousin of mine. I can't believe Phone Bone would just leave me out here wandering around helpless and hungry. I'll bet he's back in Bentville right now. Sitting in my house, eating my food. Hey! Shut up. I just ate a stick an hour ago. What do you want from me? Sigh. What a travesty. The most cherished and respected Bone in Bentville, out in the woods, fending off the elements with his bare hands. Forced to eat out a miserable existence amidst the rocks and mud. Oh, cruel, cruel, fate. Why have you abandoned your most beloved son? God, I pity me. Hey, you. Wake up. Hmm? The name's Phony Bone, TH apostrophe richest bone in Vanville. You've probably heard of me. I'm looking for a guy named Phone Bone. You've seen him. Hey! Let's kick that pea-sized dinosaur brain into higher gear, huh? Would it help if I asked TH apostrophe question against lower? Have you seen Phone Bone around? Uh, hey, Dev. Mister, may you better let me help you? Maybe I better. It could be days before TH apostrophe message reaches this guy's brain. How about we take a few steps off to Starbucks, out of her own range, and I'll answer your questions for ya. Oh, yeah? And who are you? I'm Ted. I'm a bug. Spare me TH apostrophe details, friend. I'm looking for a guy named Phone Bone. You seen him? Bone? Oh yeah, I seen him. You have. I'm saved. Where is he? Don't know. I ain't seen him since before she snowed. Oh, a likely story. Bug, take me to your leader. Take you to my leader? Come on, come on. I ain't got all day. Who should I take you so? I need answers, Bug. I demand satisfaction. I guess I could take you to see Thorne's grandma. Fine, fine. Whatever. But I got Ta Wanya. She's an old lady, and she might not take to your attitude much. Don't worry about me, Bug. There ain't a woman alive who can resist my charms. Okie dokie. I was just swimming ya. That's all. Well, move you out, Bug. THS I see taking forever on those little legs of yours. Okie dokie. Hi, Grandma. How you doing? Well, hello, Ted, dear. Grandma, this is her fella. Been asking town meet ya. 
Oh, he looks like such a nice young man. Would he like to ride one of my racing cows? No, I don't want to ride one of your not smart cows. Ted, dear, I think you'd better leave. I'm gonna tear this little fella apart from the inside house. Yes, ma'am. Do you like apple pie, phone bone? Like it? It's my favorite hobby. Well, don't get too excited. This is for Grandma. She loves my special apple pie. And we want to be real nice to Grandma before we ask about you staying here. It's Grandma. She's home. Hey, what's going on? The whole cabin's starting to shag. That's her. She must be racing one of the cows. Your Grandma? It sounds like a stampede. Look outside. That's her fastest cow coming across the clearing. No way. And here comes Grandma. Come on, Grandma. She's gonna outrun that cow? She'll have a heart attack. Hey, do you see that? There's something on the cow. What? Where? There's someone riding the cow. Oh, my God. It's Phony Bone. What's he doing? It looks like he's heading straight for us. He's out of control. Holy cow. Let's get out of here. What happened? Jeez. Your grandma stopped the cow by the tail. I think he's in the fireplace. What happened to Phony? Uh, oh, I'm coming phony. Hurry, Grandma. He's stuck in the fireplace. Oh my goodness! You ruined the dinner! Hang on. I'll get you out. Phone bone. Save me. That crazy old lady tried to kill me. Well, where's my buttons? Who have we got here? Watch out. Don't let her get a hold of you. H, hello, ma'am. Do you like cows? I know your friend does it. I don't like to ride them, you old bat. Phone Bone loves cows. Sorry, dear. You can keep him. But. No buts. I don't want any pets running around the house. Grandma, they're not pets. Can you milk them? If you can't milk them, they're pets. That's it. I'm out of here. Grandma. Say, hey, is that apple pie I smell? Yes. I baked one of my special pies just for you. What a sweet thing you are! Quick, while she's distracted. Hold it. Thorn thinks Grandma Ben can help us get back to Boneville. It's not worth it. Let go of me. Would you wait a minute? We can explain everything. Help! Help! They've destroyed my cousin's brain. Oh, my God. They've already milked you, haven't they? Grandma, their bones. They come from a place called Boneville. And they need our help to get back. Where's Smiley? Smiley, I thought he was with you. You haven't seen him since we split up? But I know he's in the valley. I found one of his cigar butts. The last time I saw the childhood, he was saying how cool it was that we were about to buy pulverized by insects. Yeah, that's the last time I saw him, too. Aw, oh, quit your worrying. Why don't you introduce me to your good-looking friend, here? Oh, uh, phony, this is Thorn. Thorn, phony. So, what have you been doing with my cousin? You two got a little thing going or what? No, huh. Figures. What did y'all do? Bore her to death talking about Moby Dick. Phony. Well, I'm going to bed. You can keep him if you want, but they have to sleep in the barn. Pram. Good night, ma'am. It was nice meeting you. Phone bone. Could I talk to you for a moment? Outside? Yes. Well, go ahead. I ain't stopping you. This isn't going quite the way we planned, is it? Tell me, is he always like this? Pretty much. Grandma's going back to Barrel Haven in a few days for the spring festival. If we can just keep those two calm until then, we can all go into town together to look for your other cousin. Don't worry. I can handle Phony. Go back in the house and keep an eye on him. I have to go get some fresh water for Grandma to wash up with. Okay, Phony. We have to get a couple of things straight. What are you doing? That pie was for Grandma Ben. Thorn will kill us when she finds out you took it. What's the matter? You afraid of getting caught? Quit being a chicken. Phony bone. Phony bone. 
Yobet er not be atin dat pie. WLL, voice. I can see we're off to a good start. We haven't seen it. Honest. Phony. That's the second time in two days that you spilled the milk. I can't help it. It's a disgusting way to get milk. It's how you get milk. There's nothing disgusting about it. It's disgusting that I have to do it. I quit. Come on. A little honest work isn't going to kill you. A little. That crazy old lady is running our butts off. Milk the cows. Take care of the chickens. Grandma Ben is feeding us and letting us stay in her barn. The least we can do is help out. The barn stinks and it's drafty. If it wasn't for the food, I'd rather take my chances back out in the woods. We're gonna end up in the woods if you don't clean this up and get another bucket of milk. I should have known you wouldn't understand. You never had any real money. You don't know what it's like to lose everything. You don't know what it's like to be broke. I'm here aren't I? Besides, you're not broke. You've still got a wad of bills on you. Only a couple of thousand. Still, they do give me some comfort. Look. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, uh, they're getting wrinkled. I'm telling ya, phone bone. I can take much more of this. It's not for much longer. As soon as we find Smiley Bone we're gonna get out of here. Until then, just try not to get us kicked off the farm, okay? Alright, alright. Cool your jets. I'll try not to cause any trouble. Good. I've gotta go find Thorn. I promised I'd help her churn butter today. Yeah, yeah. Stick some hay in my teeth and call me Goober. Cheer up, phony. Breakfast will be ready soon. Air. Morning, Bun. Good morning, Grandma. You all set for our big trip to Barrel Haven tomorrow? I'm still packing. I seem to be missing a pair of bloomers. Though, you and your cousin would know anything about that, would you? No, ma'am. Hmm. How are things going in the barn? This morning, any more trouble? Uh, no. Phony's just getting the milk now, I think. That's good. We got a tight schedule. Yes, ma'am. Thorn and I are going to churn butter and bake these little bread things with stuff in them to take on the journey. Oh, no. What? Don't you want the bread things? It's not the bread, Bum. It's the glitchy feeling. It's just come at me out of the bed. The glitchy feeling? What's that? The glitchy? It's a terrible feeling that makes your head swim. And you will trouble. It's a powerful organ of bad things to come. There, it's starting to pass. Maybe whatever's going to happen won't be so bad. Are you okay? It's gone now, but the glitchy feeling is never wrong. You give an honor that cousin of yours. You hear? Yes, ma'am. Phony. Did you do something with Grandma Ben's bloomers? Yeah, I took them off the clothesline and nailed them up on the side of the barn. You did what? I kinda made a little hole in the wall, and those were the biggest things I could find to cover it up. You're really pushing it, this time, Phony. You can't talk that way to me. I'm your cousin. I'm the richest bone in Vanville. You were the richest bone in Boneville, and it was your money-grubbing schemes that got us into this mess, remember? Do you have to keep bringing it up? So I got us run out of Benville, and a lynch mob chased us for two weeks. Jeez. One little mistake, and I gotta hear about it the rest of my life. Maybe you'll think twice next time before you build an orphanage on a hazardous waste landfill. What is wrong with that? That's two community services rolled into one. It was the ultimate tax shelter. You never learn. Do you? I should have stuck with my first idea. What? Combining a slaughterhouse with a petting zoo? Oh, yeah. That was brilliant. Ah. Uh, what do you know? Can't you make it through one more day without getting us in trouble? We're going into town with Grandma tomorrow. What are we waiting for her for? Let's blow this popsicle stand now. Tomorrow is the first day of the spring fair. This'll be our best shot at finding Smiley Bone. Grandma said that last week people were already coming in from all over the valley, setting up booths and getting ready. Well, I figure, if Smiley's somewhere in the valley, he's bound to have heard about Grandma's cow race. You know how much he likes to bet on races. Oh, back up. You mean people actually bid money on that old bag to beat a cow in a foot race? I know. It's crazy but Thorne says it's a big deal here. Some folks bet everything they've got. Okay, phone bone. I'll be good. I positively guarantee you won't hear another people to me all day. Really? Yeah, now get off my back.
Go churn some butter with Thorn. I've got stuff to do. What? What are you up to? Nothing. I said I won't mess up your plan to go into town to look for Smiley, and I meant it. And I won't hear a peep out of you the rest of the day, right? Right. Jeez. Do you all want it in writing? Do you have a piece of paper? I think I hear Thorn calling you all. Really? Okay, phony. See you tonight. Yep, you won't hear a peep out of me, cause I ain't gonna be here. Phone Bone won't mind if I borrow a few of his things, I might need them on my way to town. Sounds like a lot of money's gonna change hands tomorrow, and I don't see why Grandma Ben should hog it all. No, sir. There's bookmaking to be done, I'm the man to do it. Hey, Thorn. Where are we going? Down to the springs. Oh, Phone Bone, you're going to love the festival. We'll see jugglers, and tumblers, and singers. And my favorite part the booths. There are rows and rows of booths, and you can buy the most amazing things. They have honey, and silk robes. I usually only get to look but this year I'm going to get a bottle of dye from the south, and I'm going to make a beautiful blue dress. How come we didn't bring any buckets to carry the water back in? We're not getting water. We're taking a bath. A bath? What kind of bath? Oh my gosh. You want to get cleaned up for the festival, don't you? Come on, would you bring me the soap? I left it in my pocket of my dress. I've never done this before. Don't be so nervous. You never wear clothes anyway. Um, phone bone, could you be a little more careful with the soap? Uh, what? The soap, silly. You just hate the whole bar. R R R R. There was a path here a second ago. What happened to it? Why doesn't somebody build some roads in this place? Hmm. Maybe I should look into that. I could build a toll road. Yeah. I can almost hear those little coins calling out to me now. What are you kids doing hanging around here? Get a job. I'm his cousin. His cousin? Alright, you wanna play with us? We're gonna have to hang by our tips. No, thanks. I'm on my way into town. Hey, mister! You know the way into town? Yeah. Why? It's the way! Oh. Right. Thanks, kid. When I come back, I'll bring you a carrot. Okay, right? Where do you think here? Rabbit? What a duck. Lucky thing I ran into those kids. As soon as I'm back on the right path, I should get to Bear Lake in a time. The first thing I gotta do is hit the local tavern and find out who's in town to bet on the race. Sniff. Sniff. Ooh. Man. Something around here sure stinks. Jeez. It's getting worse. Whoa. What the heck are those things? Uh oh. Somebody's coming. Get up, you two. ZZRT snort. What? Get out before I crush your heads. King Doc. Sire. What are you doing here? May I kiss your feet? I wish I had some quiche I could offer you. W, would you like some of the small dead thing I found under a bush? I was saving half for later, but you're more than welcome. Quiet. I've had scouts out looking for you too. Why you have? How flattering. I'm flattered. Are you flattered? He has received word that the one we seek, the small Ball creature with the star on its chest has been seen in the valley. He was last seen in your territory. He was? But, but. Come with me. Yes, sire. Right away. Everything's ready for tomorrow. I just wish I could shake this creepy feeling I got. 
Did you find the little squirt? No. And my boots and knapsack are missing, too. I think he went into town without us. We looked for him, but there's no sign of him on the road. We went all the way to Old Man's Cave before it got too dark. I'm sure we'll find him at the fair tomorrow. Hmm, I don't like it. And there's a bad moon out in the air tonight, too. Run back to the barn and get your blanket. I think you better come in the house with us tonight. Okay. Destroy it. Kill the new creature. Let us hope that the death of this phone ball will cause the dragon to leave the valley and return to Devon God. Go now. We attack tonight. They are coming. Run! What about the cornyard? They're gonna to join them on the walls. Fill every vessel with water. The village is lost. The gate cannot hold much longer. Only what you can carry. They've entered the courtyard. Hurry, take the child! Phone bone. I had the dream again. The rat creatures were attacking. It's no dream. It's happening. No. The rat creatures have surrounded the farm. Hurry. Grandma's waiting for us downstairs. They've surrounded the house. Hurry, down here! Grandma? What's going on? Where are they? Do you think it's safe to have all these lights burning? Maybe we should douse them. No, the lights are keeping the monsters back. If it was dark in here, and the rat creatures thought we were asleep, we'd be dead right now. How many are there? Don't know. Here, phone, oh, hold this. Oh, man. I can hear them moving around out there. Fine, dear. Bring me a poker from the fire. And you better put some shoes on. Do you have a plan, Grandma? I have an idea that might work. Okay, children, listen closely. This is what we're going to do. When I say run, you run. Got that? What? That's your plan? Run where? Ready? Here we go. Okay, it's fun. Uh. Ah, bomb. We can't just leave you here. 
Come on, phone bone. Don't worry about me. Oh my gosh. I fought the rest back in a big one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Get up. Get up. What happened? Why are we stopping? Shh, we have to go back. Grandma needs our help. Now you're worried about Grandma? There's too many. She didn't know the woods were full of monsters. Hey! I'm sorry. It was a reflex. Run faster. Me? Bartender, bring me a beer. What's everybody starting at? Jeez, you act like I've never seen a guy order a beer before. Bartender, where's my? Smiley, is that you? Howdy, howdy, howdy. It is you. Thank goodness I found you. You mean it, phony? You're happy to see me? Darn right. Phone Bone wouldn't let me leave this not smart really unless I found you first. Aw, shucks. It's good to see you too, cause. This calls for a toast. Let me buy you a drink, old buddy. Okay, buy me, Opal. Here's to going home. To Boneville. To, to Boneville. Boneville. Why do you say we have another round on you, old friend? Sure. Why not? I got a feeling my luck's about to change. Guess where Phone Bone is right now? He's with Grandma Ben. You know, the old lady that races cows. Ah. You're in town for the cow race. Me too. There's gonna be some heavy betting going on. So I've heard. Is anybody doing the bookmaking? Not yet. But from what I've picked up, your friend Grandma is the odds-on favorite. Great. Perfect. How much time do we have? One week. Excellent. I got an idea that'll make us a lot of money. Ah, uh, oh. I hope this isn't gonna be one of those silly ideas you used to pull back in Bonneville. What? What are you talking about? What silly ideas? Remember the first time you got us run out of town? You opened up a chain of franchises, Bone Environmental, Nuclear Reactor and Endless Salad Bars. That wasn't a silly idea. The lettuce wouldn't spoil for decades. Well, it was pretty silly. Oh, yeah? You're a brilliant judge. Now, where are we gonna find a cow suit? What? I get to wear a cow suit? Cool. Have another beer, partner. Keep it down, you cornhead. I don't want anybody to know we're together. Oh. Right. Gotcha. Oh, no. Not another one. You better be able to pay for those beers, shorty. Don't worry. I'll pretend I don't know you. Humpty Dum. That's five mugs of my best ale. You owe me two eggs, and I want it now. Do, do. Relax, King Kong. I'm good for it. Oh, my. Look at all these dirty glasses. Just like this other guy was good for it? I've had it up to here with you drifters coming into town for the festival, trying to get beer on credit. Quit breathing in my cup. It's my cup until you pay me the two eggs you owe me. Jeez. What a hothead. Here. Take it. What's that? Two eggs, pal. What? Did the price go up? Okay, shorty. Get in the kitchen. You can work off your bar tab. W-H? Hey! Nobody mutilates a mint note around me and lives to tell about it. Say your prayers, chuckles. They don't use money here, cause... They've never even seen it before. Come again? They trade goods and services. It's a barter system. Chuckles wants real eggs. Smiley, why do you keep giving me beer? You know I don't carry diary products. Your butt is mine, Baldy. Uh, oh. Looks like I missed some of those dirty glasses.
What do you want? They're circling us. We want the small creature. You can't have him. Go away. Give it to us. Defense will not be tolerated. Once we return order to the valley. Stay back. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do you smell that? It's Brimstone. It's the dragon. He's here. Oh no. Relax, Thorn. Everything's gonna be okay. Phone Bone. What are you doing? I know you don't believe in dragons, but these guys do. Watch this. Okay, fellas. Party's over. Break it up. Let's go. The dragon will be here any minute now, and you don't want to be here when he shows up. Just the sight of the dragon sends these guys into a panic. They run like their furs on fire. Are you still here? Go now. Shoo. I smell nothing. What are you talking about? You don't smell brimstone? No. Sniff. Sniff. That's weird. I don't smell it anymore, either. Look out. Why, look, Ted. It's a meeting of the new community leaders. Ooh, a town meeting? That's we get stuff out? I guess flow stuff out. Hiss. Stay back, worm. Our numbers are too great. Even for you. Funny you should mention that. How many warriors do you have between here and the waterfall? A thousand, two thousand. Hiya, Bones. Hey, Funny. Come on over here. I will leave this fire rate out of cream. You would not be so bold if King Doc were here. You run and tell King Doc that I'm watching him. We are not afraid of you. Who's we? Comrades, kill the DRA. Hiss. He did it. Yes, I told you there was a dragon. I told you. Mr. Dragon. Hmm? Huh? The rat creatures attacked our farm. We left my grandmother there alone. Climb on my back. Come on, phone bone. Oh my gosh. All tied. Hurry. Stop. Stop. Look. We're too late. I can't believe it. They destroyed your grandma's house. Let me down. Wait a minute. I know it looks bad, but we need to be careful. We're not going to help your grandmother by rushing out in the open. We need to make sure there are no rat creatures hanging around. They might be watching. I don't care, Grandma. I'll go with ya, Funny. Wait for me. Come on. Grandma, can you hear me? Grandma Ben, where are you? Lauren, is that you? Oh, good, you're safe. Grandma, are you alright? Of course I am, dear. I fought the rats back in the big war. Besides, I wasn't really in danger. When your and Bone left the house, all the right were out of them. I was much more worried about you. We almost got caught, but the dragon saved us. A real dragon, Grandma. Look. I can see. Hello, dragon. Hello, Rose. It's been a while. Yep. Well, looks like everything's under control here. Guess I'll be going. Yep. Come on, Dad. Grandma, what are you doing? The dragon just saved our lives. Not now, Thorn. Mr. Bone from Bofer and I have to have a little chat. And you have a lot of things to do before we leave for the spring fair. The fair? You're not still worried about your cow race? What about Phony Bone and Smiley? We have to find them. She's not even listening to us. Can you believe she wants to go to the fair? Are you kidding? I still can't get over the fact that she has a first name. Bone and I will hit you off the cart. You'd be a sweetheart and put out the fire on the roof. But... Please, Thorn. We have to go. We don't know if they're safe. Yeah, I'm not a complete spook. 
we will be safer in town. And with any luck, we will be able to find his cousin. You're right. I'll take care of the roof. <laughs> so the work is just already out in the bus. Come join us when you get done. Come on, bun. Grandma, what was that with you and the dragon? Do you guys know each other? I'll ask the question. I want to know why those monsters were after you. And I want the truth. I have no idea. Honest. I've never done anything to them. Done skits like that. What about that yeah, shifty sure. question of yours? So Do you think Bodie Bow might have uh, some dealings with well, them? I no, ma'am. We don't have rat creatures back where we come from. What did he do? Well, actually, I wasn't run out of Boneville, Phony was. Smiley and I just helped him get away. In fact, we never even heard of rat creatures before we got run out of Boneville. So the bounce ran him out of town for that. Huh? Oh, well, good for them. Phony decided he was gonna run for mayor. His campaign slogan was, and I've got the money to do it, too. That greedy it's, it's little like, rat like, mouth, um, not in my town, so he heard it. No, anybody can run for mayor. Even Phony, well, he can in Boneville. Anyway, he wanted to make the official announcement a big social event, so he decided to throw a picnic down on the banks of the Rolling Bone River. There's a beautiful park there with green sloping lawns that stretch to the edge of the water. It's just far enough away from the hustle and bustle of downtown Boneville that there wouldn't be any distractions. Phony invited everybody in town, and he promised free food for anyone who showed up. Pretty soon, the picnic was the talk of Boneville, then the big day arrived, and the whole town turned out. The kids were playing under the trees, and the women wore sunbonnets and fancy dresses. The picnic was off to a perfect start. There's a statue in the park of Boneville's founder Big Johnson Bone. And since my cousins and I are descendants of his, Phony wanted to make his announcement in front of the statue, and just to add to the festivities, Phony had a 50 feet balloon made of himself. The balloon was tied to old Big Johnson. Fast and and Everything was going great. Folks were listening to the firehouse band and enjoying the sunshine. The food was passed out and there were plenty of prune tarts for everyone. Prune tarts? Yeah, you know Phony. He got a good deal on some prunes from a discount prune broker. Of course. So anyway, he makes the announcement, right? He gets up and declares his candidacy for mayor of Boneville. I still think that when they should have run him out. That's when a gust of wind came off the river and pulled the balloon loose. The statue came off its base and was dangling off the balloon's ankle. All of a sudden, this giant, inflatable phony bone started moving toward the crowd. Oh my. Yeah, it was amazing. My first grade teacher, Miss Grab Bone, was the first to panic. She started screaming and running back and forth. The balloon chased her into the river before Smiley and I could let the air out of it. It was awful. Everyone was stunned. At first nobody moved. They just sat there with this look of horror of their faces. And that's when they ran you out of town? No. That's when the bad prunes kicked in. Hey, Smiley. Tahi that tub of glasses back to your buddy? We're out of mugs again. Yes, sir, Mr. Down. Hey, there, phony. Lucius says you gotta wash these, pronto. We got a lot of thirsty customers out front. Yeah, I noticed. Of course, I make sure everybody gets a new, clean mug with each drink. Is anybody buying it? I just want you to know. I've been working on the plan. I've been spreading rumors all day that Grandma Ben is too old to win the race this year. This is too easy. We'll cover all the bets, and then when Grandma wins, we'll be rich. I'm the bartender. They gotta believe me. I've got the cover with face too, the mystery cow. A cow that we'll build up in everybody's imagination that can't be beat. Of course, when Grandma gets into town, everybody's gonna see she's perfectly fit. Yeah, that's the part. But you're gonna throw the race. Remember, we went grandma then to win. Wait. Is that the part where I get to wear the cow suit? Oh, joy. It does sour my plans from assing a huge fortune and returning to Bedville in triumph. Still, the play is the thing. Well, naturally, I'm looking forward to wearing a cow suit, but what do you get out of it? After all, the locals don't use money. They trade goods and services. If all these locals have a poultry products, then I'll take it. 
Besides, I have a hankering to take the proprietor of this fine establishment to the cleaners. You with me? Sure. It doesn't make any difference to me. But then, not much does. Good. Now get back out there and keep spreading rumors. And quit bringing me dirty dishes to wash. Only good people. At last, I have found you. Who? Me? How do you know my name? You should be grateful indeed that your friends do fit upon your behalf last night. I am forced to use much more subtle efforts of contacting you. What the heck were you talking about? Your cousin, Fobon, has awakened the great red dragon. For this, I will kill him. Whoa. Wait a minute, pal. You leave phone bone alone. What do you care? For friends? All that matters to you is personal gain? I'm warning you. Don't come any closer. I have wasted enough time on you as it is. I have been jeopardized my own plans. But we have unfinished business. You and I. Yeah? Like what? You so. Sorry, Cos, but Lucius says you gotta wash these. Uh, oh. So there he is, okay? Ishmael's laying in his bunk waiting for his mysterious new roommate to show up. Suddenly, at like 3 o'clock in the morning, the door swings open. And there standing in the doorway, with the light from the hall behind him, is Queequeg. And he's carrying shrunken heads. What's going on, back there? Oh. Hello, Thorn. Are you talking about Moby Dick again? It just so happens that Grandma likes to hear about good books. She appreciates fine literature. Hey, Grandma. Wake up. <laughs> what? Are we there already? Not quite. But I thought I should wake you up. Dude. Is something wrong? It looks like the road is blocked up ahead. There are some trees down across the path. Stop the girls! Hmm? There's a man standing under the trees just off to the side of the road. You see that? Where I'll be. That looks like little Jonathan Oaks. Let's find out what he's up to. Let's go, gals. Good afternoon, John Oaks. What in the world are you doing? Why are these trees blocking the road? Good day, Grandma Ben. Lucius has us block the road. There were some strange doings in the woods. Last night, the heavy men were out. Yes, we saw them. May we pass? Oh, yes, ma'am. Come around the end. Here. Hello, John. Hello, Miss Thorne. Good luck with the big race, Grandma. Everyone better on you. Thank you, dear. Thorne? Yes, phone bone? I want to thank you for sticking with me last night. I don't know why those rat creatures were after me, but they would have got me for sure if you hadn't stood up to them. Of course we stuck together. We're friends, aren't we? Hurry up now, kids. We're here. Well, well. It's about time. Hello, Lucas. How you doing, Rosie? Was the road safe? I was worried about ya. The road was clear, except for your roadblock. Oh, I got something for ya. Here. I've been saving it in my pocket all day. Oh, aren't you sweet? Well, I had a little extra time on my hands this morning. I got a couple of deadbeats inside taking care of the customers, in fact, they look a lot like this little fella you got here. They do? Yo, phone bone, smiley bone, yay. My little pal is safe. Oh, my gosh, I was so worried about you. Aw, heck, 
I can take care of myself. I'm big. But you're small, and you didn't have anybody to look after you. Hold me out, so I can take a look at you. Do I look good? You look good, man. Where's Phony? He's right inside. I'll call him out. Now, just a minute. I don't want everybody out here. Who'll take care of the customers? Let him go, Lucas. These boys haven't been together for months. Those boys owe me a lot of eggs, Rosie. Oh, all right. Call him out. But then get back to work. Thanks, you big lug. Hey, phony. Come on out. Phone bones here. So, once again, small one, your friends have come to you. But make no mistake, we will complete our transactions. We have been spared for now. For the gold be gone. Thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to subscribe to the original maker of this movie. See you next time in the Vyond Cinema. This is Tom Doe, signing off.